Amen. Now, before we open up with a normal Q&A, I really want to deal with something. Uh, and this may seem a little bit uh, different than normal, mm -hmm. but the Lord has led me to deal with something that uh, I believe it's going to bring some comfort to so many around the world because we're just a few days away from uh, Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. And Mother's Day is a special uh, time in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I believe the Lord has led me, uh, it just happens to have fallen on uh, marriage and the family, but I'm, I'm going to briefly minister about this Mother's Day mm -hmm. because it's one of those seasons uh, that you find a lot of people sad. Yeah, yeah. You know, for obvious reasons. You know, it's kind of just like the holiday season where uh, folks uh, feel lonely. You know, we call it the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah. But there are a lot of folks with that holiday season, Thanksgiving, Christmas, where they're lonely and missing loved ones. And uh, from time to time, I usually do a special uh, teaching around that area. Mm -hmm. But the Lord has led me to, to deal with this about Mother's Day. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And especially, uh, you have many every year, and, uh, and, and I've heard a lot of reports, especially over the past year, uh, due to COVID and different things where uh, a lot of people uh, have left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to kind of deal in this area. We all know that uh, death is nothing new, uh, but it's new when it comes to your family. Amen, yeah, yeah. Now, I just want to kind of share a few things, even maybe some personal things, uh, Pastor Laura and I, we can talk about. Uh, some personal things that, that, that I've done and still do that helps when it comes to uh, missing loved ones. Yeah. And with many, um, it's a different type of emotion, especially when it comes to a parent. You know, or even sometimes a, a child, you know, especially if there was a close bond. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like this uh, intimate losses are the ones that can really be more severe yeah. mm -hmm. when there's a close bond. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to quickly first read something that will add to something what I'm talking about. There's an article and it says the loss of a loved one is among the most difficult situations a person can face. Yet, God's word does offer words of encouragement yeah. for those facing the grief associated with the loss of a loved one. Mm -hmm. We know that Jesus has experienced and understands what it means to lose a loved one. In John 11, Jesus wept of the death of his friend Lazarus. Isaiah 53 and 3 prophesied about him that he is a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Mm -hmm. God is the source of comfort during times of grief. Second yeah. mm -hmm. Corinthians 7 and 6 says, God who comforts the downcast comforted us. Second Corinthians 1 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort. Then Psalms 23 and 4 adds that God acts as a dear shepherd and comforts us. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, yeah. for you yeah. are with me. Amen. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Yes. And then even Psalms 71, 20 and 21, we read it says, You who have made me see many troubles and calamities, will revive me again. Amen. From Amen. the depths of the earth, you will bring me up again. Mm -hmm. You will increase my greatness and comfort me again. Amen. You see, God is the source of peace during grief. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll say that again. God is the source of peace during grief. Yeah, yeah. The Psalms offer many examples. Once again, Psalms 4, 4 and 8 shares, in peace 
I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Mm -hmm. Psalms 85 and 8 adds, Let me hear what God the Lord will speak. For he will speak peace to his people, to his saints. Yeah. You see, the peace of Jesus or the peace of Christ, it transcends the pain of this life. Yeah. Let me say that again. The peace of Christ, it transcends the pain of this life. In John 16, Jesus taught, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Amen. And then Ephesians 2 and 14 even teaches, for he himself is our peace. Amen. Amen. So now, the loss of a loved one, it can be extremely difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not minimizing it, not one second, mm -hmm. especially when there was a close bond. Mm -hmm. But we also know that our grief is temporary. Yeah, yeah. It's temporary, limited to this life. Mm -hmm. Because in heaven, we will no longer experience the sadness yes. that's associated with lost loved ones. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Revelation 21 and 4 promises that he will wipe away every tear yeah, yeah. from their eyes mm -hmm. and death shall be no more. Amen. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Mm -hmm. In fact, for loved ones who are in heaven, we will only be separated from them for a short time. Amen. So whatever a loved one, especially if it's a mother, it's only a short time. First Thessalonians 4, 13, 14 says, But we do not want to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. Amen. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. All believers will worship together with the Lord in heaven for eternity. Our loss may be painful now, but it's only temporary. Amen, amen, so amen. Now, what am I saying? God will help us yes, he will. with the pain of a loved one who's no longer here. Yes. Amen. And especially we're a few days away from, from Mother's Day and some have, have, have their, their mothers not with them recently, last year. God will help us. Yeah, yeah. Scripture say he's a present help. Yes, he is. And he will help us mm -hmm. with the pain of a loved one. Mm -hmm. This is even uh, one of the functions of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. the 14th chapter of John, verse 1, Jesus says, And I will pray the Father. And he shall give you another comforter mm -hmm. that he may abide with you forever. Mm -hmm. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you know him, Amen. for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Amen. And verse 26 in that 14th chapter of John says, but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. whom the Father will send in my name, and he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Yeah. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Yeah. Yeah. Not as the world giveth, amen. Amen. but the peace I give to you. Mm -hmm. And let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. Then according to Hebrews 9 and 14, the blood of Jesus will cleanse our conscience from dead works. Yeah. Dead works, including the pains of the past. Amen, amen, yeah. Now, Pastor, yeah. why are you giving all these scriptures? Because faith comes by hearing, hearing. Yeah. and hearing by the word of God. Amen. 
And then there's 1 Peter 5 and 7. He tells us to cast all of our cares Amen. upon him, yes. for he careth for us. Mm. And then there's 1 Corinthians 10, 13. It says, there has no temptation taken but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, mm -hmm. who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Mm -hmm. Let me read you a few translations to that. It says, every test that you have experienced is the kind that normally comes to people. But God keeps his promise, and he will not allow you to be tested beyond your power to remain firm. Amen. For at the time you are put to the test, he will give you the strength to endure it, and so he will provide you with a way of escape. Mm -hmm. Another translation says, we all experience times of testing, yes. which is normal for every human being. Yeah. But God will be faithful to you. Mm -hmm. He will screen and filter the severity, nature, and timing of every test or trial you face mm -hmm. so that you can bear it. Amen. And each test is an opportunity to trust him more. Mm -hmm. For along with every trial, God has provided for you a way of escape that it will bring you out victoriously. Amen. Last one says, no test or temptation that comes your way is beyond the course of what others have had to face. In other words, sometimes it could seem like what you're going through is something new uh, or, 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 or no one is not going through what you're going through. Amen. But God is saying that what you're facing, there is no situation that comes your way that's beyond the course of what others have had to face. Amen. And Amen. that's something that Pastor Laura and I both had to face. And then it says all you need to do is remember that God will never let you down. He'll never let you be pushed past your limits. Amen. He'll always be there to help you come yeah. through it. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Now, like anything else, as I said, I give these scriptures as the Lord led me because faith comes by hearing yes. and hearing or confessing by the word of God. Amen. So I need to keep hearing these words during this time, confessing it, and renewing my mind with these promises. Amen. Now, am I saying it's easy? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, but when we allow God to help us, mm -hmm. and this is the key, now unto him who's able mm -hmm. to keep me from falling. Amen. Amen. He has the ability to keep me, but I got to allow him to. Amen. Amen. So now when you allow God to help you, he'll keep you from falling. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, a few quick, quick personal steps dealing with that. When it comes to a, a, a loved one, especially those who recent, especially a mother, mm -hmm. because we're just what? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days away from Mother's Day. And when a lot of folks, sometimes it's a, it's a sad time. Mm -hmm. And even those who made their mothers not with them this year, it's especially a sad time. But we don't have to grieve like the world. Amen, amen. We've got God to take care of us. Amen, amen. Now, a few quick steps. Uh, remember the fun and good times. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 you know, don't, don't, don't sit around rehashing in your, in your mind, whatever. Remember some of the good times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let me say this. Well, Pastor, should I not cry? Absolutely cry. Mm -hmm. And I've said this for years and years. You know, especially when someone loses a loved one and then people, they don't mean harm. They say, you know, be strong. What does that mean? Uh -huh. You know, tears does not mean you're weak. Yeah, yeah. Tears mean you're normal. Amen, amen. So it's all right to cry. Mm -hmm. And then I've learned, too, sometimes grief can be a source of hope. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Amen. In other words, sometimes we can turn that pain into passion. Amen, amen. To develop ourselves to God. Amen. Then another thing is, and I know we are in a world where folks celebrate death. I've taught this for years. Don't celebrate death. Amen. See, it does you no good. I'm talking about from a Christian standpoint. It does, does you no good, you know, wearing these slogans and these T-shirts about a loved one, giving the dates when they were born and when they passed and all of that. You don't, have, you don't need to do that. Amen. It ain't like you're going to forget. 
But as believers, we don't, we don't celebrate death. Because when I love, when, when they're a believer, when they transition, they are in the presence of God. Somewhere where we all long to be. So don't, don't you celebrate death and don't be, now I'm trying to help somebody with this, and this might be a tough one for some. Don't you go over looking over the obituaries and the programs and, and going through all of that stuff and going to grave sites and all of that. Don't write me no ugly letters because I'm standing with the Bible. We don't celebrate death. We celebrate life. And these are ways that can, that can help you during this grieving time. Another thing, don't have any regrets. Get rid of the regrets. And that can happen to many of us. Sometimes we could think maybe there was something I could have done. If I would have did this or did that, maybe that would not have happened. So don't have any regrets. Get rid of any regrets. Amen. Now, the last one, and this, this is going to be a real challenge. See, because when you allow God to supernaturally help you, because he can, when you supernaturally get healed from the pain, it's not saying that you forgot, but God has done a supernatural work. Now, this is the challenge. When that happens, others are not going to understand. Because when God supernaturally heals you of that pain, others who don't understand will accuse you of not caring. So that will be one of the biggest challenges when God has supernaturally healed that pain. And you got to watch out for others who will try to persecute you in that. Pastor Lord, you want to kind of talk a little bit on that? Because really, you and I both, it's been four years. My mother went home to be with the Lord. It's been about 14 years. Your mother went home to be with the Lord. I was, I was Are we on? Child. Yeah, no, we're not on. All right, let's, let's get on. Yeah. I was the only child, and um, so I didn't have any siblings to bounce anything emotions mm -hmm. with. And, um, and you have to go through the, the cycle of the birthday, holidays, yeah. especially if you was close to your parents. Yeah. And it's not just Mother's Day. It's the whole the year whole, yeah, cycle. Sure, sure. Uh, being without them, even if you, especially if you had a, a child born in that year and yeah, then yeah. the parent did not get to see the child or you bought a new house yeah. and the parent didn't get to see the new house or you started a new career and the yeah. parent didn't get to see. So it is several layers of your life that, 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 that said, oh, I wish so-and-so was here and I wish so-and-so mm -hmm. was there. All that time you have spent in your life with them mm -hmm. brought you to the steps you are at sure. now. Sure. And this is where the devil tried to rob you. Every step it took for me to get here, even though they're not here to see it, mm -hmm. they was with me to get there. Yeah, yeah. And so, so I, don't, I don't regret. Say that again. That's a powerful, powerful statement. Yeah. That even though they may not be here, but they were with you Every to get to the weather they, place you're right. in. Right. And they, and they got me here based on their strength. You know, you can reflect off the strength mm -hmm. of others to keep you going. And, and don't let the devil rob you and say that, oh, you know, you know, and I know a lot of people last year was rough on a lot of people yeah, last yeah. year. And we, you know, but the but the but the the strength and I you and I cannot say this enough, Pastor. You have to be saved and be born again yes. in order to deal with the griefing. Yeah. Because that comfort of God letting you comfort him him covering you mm -hmm. is like a, it's, it's phenomenal yes. because I know that I got somebody that's with me. Yeah. And I know I got somebody that care about me. Yes. And I know I got somebody that said, listen here, you ain't by yourself. Yes. And this is where the enemy tried to stiffen the body of Christ by making them feel that they are by themselves. Mm -hmm. And so as long as you think you by yourself, then you will say, well, I, you know, you know, nobody understands. Pain in America is universal. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to say, I, you know, maybe somebody went through um, a car accident or maybe they went through the COVID and passed away or maybe they had cancer or mm -hmm. maybe they had this and that. Pain is universal. Yeah. So it ain't like, uh, oh, you don't understand. I understand pain right. because pain is universal. So in other words, um, we, we, we believe God that in every step of our life, 
we have a conqueror. Yeah. We yeah. are we are more than a conqueror. Yeah. We are not weak and messed up. I just thank God for this. But when my mother passed away and I was and I was seen like an only child, um, I had such a connection with God that I just it was no regret. I was more angry. Mm -hmm. Angry about the fact that I didn't um, talk to her about her anger. Yeah. She was angry. Right. And so I didn't talk to her about her anger. But other than that, every time I reflect about her, I always laugh. Yeah, absolutely. Because my mother was so funny. Yeah. My mother was a funny lady. And, and, and I enjoy the time that she groomed me. Mm -hmm. to be the woman of God that I am today. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, uh, hopefully uh, uh, we've ministered to, to you. And, and, and like I said, we're not telling a person uh, don't cry and all of that and you won't feel emotions, all that, absolutely, especially if it's fresh and, and new. But I'm here to tell you that if you allow God, yeah. see, see, people tell you, you know, over, over time, time, time heals all wounds. That's not true. There's no guarantee to that. Because I know some folks who've been in situations for ye decades, and, and they're still not healed from it. But I guarantee you this, God can heal all wounds. Amen, amen. Oh, yes, he can. Amen. If the same God who can heal your body, the same God who can get you out of fear, yeah. the same God who can do miracles is the same God yeah. who can heal my emotions. Amen, amen, amen. 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 And it's not saying that I won't feel anything. I, I, I you know, I say this, uh, uh, as I said with my mother, I think about it every day. You know, my dad's been gone to be 25 years. I think about him every day. But God will heal you. Yeah. Heal you of that pain. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Well, I tell you what, be, before we do uh, uh, take questions in Q&A, Pastor Lord, just pray. For those uh, 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 that, that they allow God to, to help them and heal them, especially with many, this is going to be first Mother's Day without their mother. Then you go into holiday season. But we know God is a supernatural God. Amen. See, I'm not talking in the natural. Like I said, I, 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 I have no guarantees of what doctors and psychiatrists, all of them say. The only thing we can guarantee is the word of God. Amen. How do we know? Amen. Because we both lived it. Amen. And God can supernaturally do it for you. Amen. Just pray with that. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come before you today, Lord. Thank you for this day. We yes. thank you for who you are in the name of Jesus, according to the word of God. Mm. Lord, we send out a word for every pe person that has went through last year. Yes. When loved one dies and, when, and going through this year mm. of even mothers and loved ones that have passed away, God. Yes. We ask your name to give them supernatural healing. Yes. Supernatural comfort in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, Lord, we know that everybody have different courses of life mm. and we also know lord that everybody feels that they are by themselves but we want you to know mm. god that you are a comforter yeah that you are a healer yeah and that god you will comfort and heal those mm. that need healing yes oh lord. we thank you lord because you 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 don't just show up mm. and show up whenever you want to you show up on time yes. all the time and we love it we yes, love lord. it and so we want to tell you god we just want to thank you for thank what you, you have already done yes lord. but what you already are Yes. In the name of Jesus, to name each and everybody, amen. 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 Praise God.